Hey, what's up everybody? Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to the Dream Catchers Fishing YouTube channel. We appreciate you. I, I run cross country and track too. Oh, do you? Yeah. Every time. Giant large mouth. Oh it's my gosh. Wait till you see this big large mouth has this bait absolutely five, in five his pounder, gut. Five pounder, four huh? Pounder? I don't know. Maybe oh, it's his stomach. It might oh, be his head. Look, this is oh. why you gotta throw the Demiki axe blade freaking gone. Yo yoing it on the bottom. Guys, how cold is the water? 44. 43, 44. Winter time. Look at those red lips. Fat large mouth. Got lipstick on. <laughs> he's got lipstick on. Look at that fish right there. He's bleeding. He's got to choke so bad. I got to get it out of him. That's why you throw the Demiki axe blade. Get him at Dreamcatcher's Fishing Supply. So today I'm going to be talking about one of my favorite wintertime baits, and that's the Demiki axe blade. It is an absolute hammer in the wintertime when the water is really, really cold. You got a lot of fish that are just glued to the bottom that aren't moving around. A lot of people are wondering like, man, what the heck do they eat? We catch them slow rolling Kitex. You can catch them slow rolling an Alabama rig. You can catch them on a blade bait, but then you have the Demiki ax blade, which is really a hybrid bait, right? So the original tailspin bait was kind of like a little George, a man's little George. Well, Demiki made this heavy, they sell it in a three quarter ounce and I think it's one and a quarter ounce, but it's a very small profile bait. It almost looks like a lipless or a traditional blade bait. And then it's got a double hook with kind of a modified teardrop willow leaf on the back of it. And what's unique is it's not like a rooster tail where it's like an inline spinner. It really kind of helicopters that blade in the water. It really kind of rotates wide and uh, it moves a lot of water but has a lot of vibration. And in the winter time when those fish are glued on the bottom, you can take this thing and fish it so many ways. This is the great thing about it. It's a super versatile bait. So today we were catching them taking it letting it hit the bottom and ripping it off the bottom and then letting it hit the bottom again and so it's coming off the bottom kind of like your traditional uh silver buddy or Demiki vol or you know one of those just just all of the blade baits in general you know you're ripping it off but what's unique is it's got that tail spin to it and on lakes that are just super dominated with thread fin and get a lot of pressure with that silver buddy man this bait is a difference maker because it's a little different action it doesn't it doesn't have any vibration in the body it's just all weight and then that tail spins so it comes up and then it you know that tail spins falling down and then you rip it up and the tail spins and it's just constantly falling so that's one way i really like to throw it is I'll throw it out there, I'll let it hit the bottom, I'll rip it up, let it fall. Let it hit the bottom, rip it up, let it fall. And nine times out of 10, boom, they're gonna hit it on the fall. It's a really heavy bait too. You know, this one's a three quarter ounce and I really like that three quarter ounce. It's very compact, man. It's a heavy piece of lead. So what I'll do with this thing too, is it's not uncommon on our lakes in the winter time for these fish to come up schooling and breaking like freaking cold water, disgustingly cold, and they'll come up breaking. And what's unique is this bait right here is so compact, it's so small, it's very aerodynamic. So I can take and absolutely launch this thing. I mean, like if they're schooling fish around and they're feeding on thread fin or even herring, it kind of can have the profile of a herring because it's so long with that blade spin on the back, but it's got that short body profile like a thread fin shad. So you can throw it, I'm talking about 40, 50, 60 yards out there on fish that come up and it's small, it cuts through the air. You don't have to worry about the air affecting it when you cast. So I, I like fishing it right yo-yoing it off the bottom. I like throwing it for schoolers. And another way I really like throwing it is just letting it pendulum fall. 
How I've had a lot of success with this bait is I'll throw it out there, I'll engage the reel, and I'll just let it free fall back to the boat until it's up under the boat. And what's really unique is when those fish are suspended in that 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, I'll throw it out there and it's kind of falling, falling, and then I engage that reel and it starts kind of moving back towards me. And what's happening is it's in that strike zone very long as it's pendulum falling back to the boat. And I have had really, really good days on the water just throwing this thing out over fish that were suspended and just kind of letting it fall through them. And when it falls through them, you'll just feel cool. When you're reeling this bait too, it, it feels heavy, man. When they eat it, it, it's a blast because you're reeling that thing and it feels heavy because that tail spins so wide. So you're like, golly, it feels like a heavy bait. And when they cram it, man, there's no missing. You can definitely, definitely feel the bite for it. Another great way, honestly, so just like, just like letting it free fall and kind of pendulum fall, I like casting it out and I like reeling it slow. You know, I'll, if, if I'm marking fish in that 25, 30 foot zone, I will, uh, you know, count it down, let it fall and just reel it really slow. It falls at about three and a half to four foot a second so you know if they're in 20 foot of water i'm gonna count it down you know five six mississippi and just reel it really really slow and once again it just has so much power that that so much vibration so much draw power that it gets bit and then lastly the way i really like to throw it, the last way i really like to uh fish this bait is just like a jigging spoon if you're just hammering on a school with a jigging spoon just you know it falls and you're just ripping it up this bait gets absolutely mashed fishing it vertically just letting it fall and ripping it letting it fall and ripping it and i'm telling you man it's a great way because once again that tail's falling down it's coming up if you're creating a reaction strike it's a different look in the water column it's a beast so anyways that's the way i like to fish it i'm fishing it on any either 12 or 15 pound fluorocarbon line uh, i prefer p line uh, p line tactical the stuff's super super strong i'm throwing it on a six foot ten medium heavy fast action uh dial tattoo la rod a lot of people wonder like hey do a lot of fish come undone with this bait i'm telling you i have had so much success with landing fish with this bait i mean it's got a small size i think it's a four treble hook up here even maybe a size five it's not quite a six but it's either a four or five and then it just has that little double hook on the back of it i have never lost a single fish with this bait and i've probably caught close to 50 or 60 fish with this bait and uh anything from big smallies big spotted bass big large mouth like the fish you guys saw so it's a really really unique bait um you know i'm fishing it on a on a 7.3 to 1 gear ratio reel and once again it's just so versatile and i like it where if i'm fishing deep i can pick up a lot of line fast with this reel and then once again if i'm fishing deep i like a little bit heavier action rod like i said this is a medium heavy i like that little bit heavier action rod that's going to be able to move a lot of line and get those fish in the boat move them from where they are and get them to me faster so uh it's a great great bait absolutely love it check them out you can get them at dream catchers fish and supply that's the deal so anyways hope you have a great day hope to see you on the water and uh can't wait to hear about how you do with the damiki axe blade thanks for watching subscribe to our videos see ya